Right guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So, I wanted to make a quick video. We've got a new season and we've got the full team of the year impacts finally. It feels like it's been going on for absolutely ages. Um, but yeah, I mean, the team, that, sorry, the new season pass is, is meh at the best. Like, it's kind of like you got a lone Tevez, nice. But then you go through, there's a couple of decent packs here and there. There's a nice team of the year mentions, Brandt. But yet again, it's kind of fodder. And then you go through... I've got this card already, so it's fodder for me. And then you got Rasiki as well. Uh, I I probably butchered that name. I apologise. But yeah, I mean he, he's there as well. And then you've got, and then right at the end, it's only three week season. So to be fair, it isn't a long season at all. And at the end, you do get Burkham, but I don't think anyone's going to be taking that. I think it's going to be an eighty four by twenty for everyone. And I'd be surprised if anyone does take Burkham. But you do, you do get two options here. You get an eighty seven by two and an eighty six by three. Personally, I'll probably take the 86 by 3 I think. But yeah, decent packs there. And some overall, some really, really good packs. I like the fact that they're leaving all these to the end, so you can't get them in Team of the Year. But yeah, basically, that, that's kind of it, really. I, I think... Oh, what's this? All right, okay, so there's some new FC Pro stuff here. So if you basically watch the eSports live stream, you'll get a Team of the Year loan, uh, De Bruyne, and you get an 83 by 5 pack. And you also get... If you score five goals using 86 rated Jota, you will get the 87 rated one. Issue is I've sort of put him in our SB in SBC already, so unfortunately I won't be getting that. However, let's have a look down here as well. It doesn't seem to be anything new. Champions bonus isn't new, I don't think. And then weekly objectives just standard stuff. There's nothing major in here. Uh, what's this here? Rivals bonus. Oh, that's the same as before, isn't it? And you've got the same stuff. So, I mean, overall, new season, it's all right. Like, it's better than nothing, but nothing to write home about, really. But the main thing that we need to talk about is that team of the year is in packs and fully everything is in packs. The only players that aren't in packs are Ronaldo and Pop. Those are the two, those are the two players that are probably going to get the team of the year, 12th man and 12th woman. I can imagine there'll be lots of flooding into the market right now in terms of Mbappe's and all that kind of thing. What time is it we're looking at? It's oh, it's all, it's almost seven o'clock now. So these players have been out for an hour, and we've got plenty of. Hanson wasn't even on the market before, but there's plenty of pages now. So good to see they're coming on. Mbappe is only two on the market, so still very very rare. How much is Messi? Messi's seven mil. Look, these team of the years must be really rare because they are absolutely stupidly expensive. In terms of what I'm going to be crafting for SBCs, I mean it's difficult because you've got. If we have a look at how many players are in each team, oh sorry, from each league, uh, where I load up. So we've got, look, we've got, so we've got nine players from the Premier League and the Barclays Women's League and the Women's Premier League as well. So if you really just want in the highest chance of backing a team of the year, looks like the Premier League out of probability is going to be the best one to go for. And looks, to be fair, it has the best players as well, like Van Dijk. Uh, Haaland, Ruben Diaz, they brought basically everyone in there apart from the goalkeeper is something you want. There are other leagues, for example, one league that has really surprised me with the MLS. Now, I don't think this is going to have much of an impact on the probability of getting one. But if all you do, right, if you go down to the MLS, now I didn't think to check the women's side of things as well, but if you look at the men's, there's only, there's only 13 rare players from the MLS. There is... Okay, so the, there are plenty of women's MLS players so yeah maybe my, my theory was flawed I was thinking because there's only like 13 players in the in the women's MLS I'm sorry the men's MLS it would be a really high chance back in Messi but the women's MLS is huge and there's absolute tons of gold rares in there so yeah I probably won't be dabbling in the MLS too much if I pack Messi or Smith it will be out of just a normal pack so yeah, I think I'm just going to absolutely grind out the Premier League ones and maybe dabble in a couple of league ones and occasionally the Liga ones as well. But yeah, on a whole, I mean, it's it's dead content today, apart from the fact everything's in packs, obviously it's good content for that, but there's not really any major SBCs. We did also get a N'Golo Kante as well. Personally, I mean, how long's left on him? You've got 30 days to complete Kante as well, so medium high work rates, 5 foot 6. Pretty good card, really, really good pace. Good defending, eh, physical, but he's never got a really good physical. Great dribbling starts, good passing, decent passing, actually not that great to be fair. But overall, not a bad card. Got that relentless play style as well, so it's going to be a nice a nice addition to anyone's team probably. But yeah, on a whole, I think good day content. Tomorrow we will be getting a 12th man and woman, and as well a bunch of moments card as well. So tomorrow it's going to be a big time for getting all the trolls. But yeah, 
If you enjoyed today's video, do me a massive favour, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down below if you do pack a team of the year or if you packed one already. On that note, I will see you later. Goodbye.